In this video, I'm gonna show you what to do when you have high background on your instrument. So what is background? Background is noise that the instrument is giving off. It's gonna interfere with your results. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a background check and then how to take care of your instrument if you do notice high background. In the last video, I showed you how to do a die calibration in the section where it says ROI and uniformity, there is a background check in there. So here are all the calibration files that come from that instrument. I have the die calibration here, and then I have the ROI over here, and here I have the background. So you can tell if you have high background on your instrument by doing this check, and you, know, you can see a very tight band over here, so that's good. If you had absorbance high in these areas, then you know that you can target specific wells and see if there's any extremely high background on a specific well, and then you can go in and you can clean that well. Now, if you are not during, doing that calibration plate and you just wanted to check from a day-to-day -day standpoint, you can run that water plate and you can look to see if there's high fluorescence. So here, let me, sh let me show you an example. So if you're just running samples every day and you have an empty well, you can just check to see if that has high fluorescence per well. So you can see like here you have low fluorescence, but here you notice for another blank you have high fluorescence. This might be a target for you to go and clean. So let me show you how to clean. I'm gonna show you how to clean a PCR well. So let's open up the system. What you're gonna see here is you have a metal block. The way that you clean the metal block is with 5% bleach and IPA. You're going to want to start with 5% bleach and you're going to want to use these. Have you seen this before? This is like a, a PCR Q-tip. These are kind of cool. They're, uh, you can take a look. They're pointy and they kind of fit in the wells uh, perfectly. You want to marinate these in 5% bleach first and then you can go ahead and clean out the wells and then you want to let that sit for like 10 or 15 minutes. You don't want to just wipe it off right away. After it sits for a while, then you can dry it off and then you want to take another one of these Q-tips and dip them in IPA and then go through the wells. What the IPA will do, it will evaporate off everything from that well and then you should have a very clean well. If you didn't do it well enough, get it? If you didn't do it well enough? If you didn't do it well enough, you'd have to go back and clean it again. So that's how you take care of background. I hope you appreciated this video. If you like this type of content, like, subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more.